Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. And today we're going to take on an attack base mission. Now, last episode, um, we didn't do so well. We had an attack convoy mission, and we took out the convoy. We took out a Warhammer, and that was about it. And we had to bail because they had reinforcements. They had, they had, they had still had seven guys on the board, and we had taken a significant amount of damage. So we got out of there with one Warhammer piece. Um, I suggest you go back and watch the episode. It was something that I, I've never had to withdraw from a mission playing Rogue Tech yet. But uh, there you go, one skull mission, and I had to fight 12 guys. So moving on to the next one, <laughs> we're going to do an attack base, which is probably a little simpler. Once again, looking for cash and um, Mac parts. Now, we are okay for our financial report for the end of the month, so we're going to go for full salvage again. We're going to go, do stealing as a form of flattery. We're going to do a capture base mission here in the Highlands. And we're going to go full out salvage. Um, I think we'll be okay for repairs. The last mission we ended up, like, you know, 44000 or something that cost us in repairs after the, we got our money, which wasn't very much. So but I think we'll be okay this time. Once again, going with the full crew and deploy. Alright, here we go. Alright, I don't mind this map at all. Lots of trees to hide in. Lots of places to get behind to break line of sight. It's a pretty good map. Let's do this. Um, so there's the base. Looks like they've got some guys down in here. It might be turrets. I don't see any turrets though. That doesn't mean they're not there. Let's reserve back. Right here. So as we're moving in, I just want to say that uh, you know I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me, the likes and stuff. It's really nice. Um, once again, comments are always appreciated. Um, I like hearing from everybody. I like hearing about their play styles and what they might want to see in the campaigns. Uh, Flashpoint has dropped. Uh, as I mentioned last time, I was able to save my Rogue Tech uh, install to a different folder. I've got a backup copy of it, so um, all I do is run Steam offline and I'm able to continue to play Rogue Tech right through the uh, current Rogue Tech hiatus until they are able to update with the new Battletech Flashpoint. Um, from what I can see, Flashpoint has added a lot of pretty cool stuff and I'm sure the modders are going to have a really great time with it. I'm interested to see what they can pull off. Um, let's move up here. Hey, let's see what this baby can so it looks like we got turrets. Yeah. So we're going to have to try and kill those fast. Now reinforcements generally drop over here. So if we're going to stay to the left here and try and kill these turrets as quickly as possible. Receiving you. That means not necessarily waiting for all of our mechs to be up to the front line. It just means getting in on there. Now we do have our... Thunderbolt 15 installed on our Centurion. So he's going to be standing back a fair bit, taking pot shots. That's a nice big uh, fat damage weapon there. Let's reserve. Now we're going to reserve past the turrets this turn. Sorry for the sniffles, I still got a little bit of a cold here. Alright, so let's get recoil up here. Uh, put some initial fire down on this turret. Good view of the facility for now. Additional units in the area, yeah, yeah. They may have gun emplacements, eh? Really? Captain Obvious? Looks like they're already here. Alright, we're gonna fire on this guy. You're not gonna make anything if you hit like that, dude. Alright, Hickory. Let's see if we can get you a direct line of sight here. You always do better with that. No. I was able to upgrade uh, Hickory's um, tactic skill to 4, so she's got minus 1 now for indirect fire. So it's a little better. We're gonna fire anyway. Got a pretty good chance to hit. Oh, two hits, nice. Good to go. Excellent. Okay, so let's get in here. I can see it best from here, so we're gonna move up. Gonna fire on this guy. Fire with everything. On Damn, really? How much does this thing got left? Oh, it started off with 180 this time. Okay. Alright. This is a one skull mission, so. Can't wait to see what the later missions are like. 28%, so I'm going to not bother with that one. Because we do go before the turrets again next turn anyway, so... Let's move ourselves around to... Maybe not there. Maybe right here. I think we're out of line of sight of the rest of these turrets. Pretty sure we are. So let's fire with everything on this guy. Should do it. 
Okay, so we're going to reserve now. We're going to try and get past those turrets. Hopefully no sensor locks. Okay, good. So Hickory, let's get this started. Let's just walk it to here. Roger. Alright, so this guy's got 180 armor. SRM6s, we'll just fire both. You should hit with both. Or not. Wow, I should just, like, I know better than to open my mouth now. I don't know why I do that. Alright, we're just going to walk it over. Got the Thunderbolt 15 now on here. 79% chance to hit. That's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Not that we're going to hit the building any. <laughs> really? How much has this thing got left? 85, 95. Um, let's just walk it. I don't want to get too close. Heading out. That's probably as close as I want to get to this guy anyway. Is that enough? Yeah, it was. Okay, perfect. That turret is gone. It is gone. All right, now we're going to work down to the next one. We're going to work down to this one here on the right. Um, let's reserve. Okay, so let's start off with Cold Metal. I think he's probably going to get eyes on first. And he will, right here. And let's fire straight on this guy. This guy's got 180 as well, two LRM-15s, so we want to get rid of this guy this turn. Nice. That's good damage. Really good damage. Okay, Pylon, let's get around. God, this Phoenix Hawk's got great speed. Got it. I think we want to keep the hill position up here. Let's fire everything. Great speed, but uh, when he misses, boy, does he miss. Damn it. Yeah, you think so? Yep. All right, Hickory, let's get you in here. Let's move. Should have much better chance to hit. Yeah, there it is. Take this. Okay, good. One left. Gotcha. So let's get recoil down here. Is that? Uh, Oh, that's still on the hill. Hmm. Guess we can't get down that way. Here comes the reinforcements. So we did pretty good. I thought for sure we would uh, have all the turrets down by the time they, they arrived, but that's alright. So we got a light mech coming in. Spider 5k. That's fine. Now does this guy have medium and machine guns? Okay, we're going to reserve. Got to get past those turrets. Reserving again. Yeah, they spot us now. That's okay, though. We needed to have um, to reserve to keep our evasion up. We can't see him, so there's no point in moving. Okay, so that turret, I think, is probably... Let's move up and see what that... Can we actually see it? Hmm, that's interesting. So... That is very interesting. What game do we want to play now? That's the second Mac. Um, what do you need? How close can you get down here? That's the sprint to there, eh? Now, is that down the hill, though? It is. So we're going to come down this way. Yeah, we're going to work our way back this way, I think. That's a Thunderbolt. So that could be a Jenner over there. Chances are it is. Commander. Uh, let's, yeah, let's continue this route. We'll pull back this way. Because then we can get out of that spider's visual range. Yeah. Hopefully pull him forward far enough. Got it. Just that we running. can just bring him down. Plus we're going to drain all our heat here at the same time. So let's do that. Then we can get down and get these buildings in, our, in between us and that turret. It's already kind of blocked by that building over there, so I think we're probably safe here from those turrets. 
Or that turret, the one turret. I'm gonna check. I didn't check to see if these guys had full armor or not. Yeah, they do. Okay. Can pretty much expect that, I think, from now on, uh, now on out. What's up, Commander? So, can we get to a point where we can see that turret? Anywhere. Anywhere? Oh, we can over here. But we can't all follow. So, we're gonna go. Here. So they got two mechs back there still. Fire everything on the spider. Let's make this guy re regret being a scout. Unfortunately, I moved. Um, that's a commando. Fortunately, I, I moved the um, Phoenix Hawk before I moved um, Hickory here. So now she's kind of trapped between us. So let's move Ready Pylon forward. down. Let's get him in the trees here. Affirmative. Gonna fire on the spider. Gonna unload everything. Now let's see how you handle this. Man, you got a hit, dude. Just one. Just give me one hit out of five at 20%, 28%. Okay. Hickory. What do you need? I need you to sprint down over here, girl. Right here. Understood. Moving fast. And I want you to stay back here and just pummel these guys if you can. Firing away. Oh, you know what? We never replaced the uh ah, we never repaired the um Thunderbolt. That taste? I was wondering why we had such a low chance to hit there all of a sudden. Yeah, we never repaired it. Okay. A better chance to hit this guy back here. 25-37. Nope, we're gonna fire on the uh, spider then. Oh yeah! Okay, got his left arm. Not that it matters, his lasers are in the center torso. Although I think the machine gun's in the arms, aren't they? Yeah, they're in the arms. So that is a Jenner. Maybe we can pick up an extra Thunderbolt 10 as a uh, backup weapon. Okay, so that turret can't really shoot us. Alright, yep. recoil. Let's get I over do? here. See if we can burrow through the side of this guy. There we go. No problem. I love that guy's voice. No problem. It's from Brooklyn. Not that I've ever been to Brooklyn, yeah. but uh, I hear that's what they sound like. According, according to the movies, of course. Alright, let's see if we can take this turret. All right, full speed. This guy's got LRMs, I think, right? Two rocket launcher fives. Medium pulse, large pulse. Well, that's bad. Oh, it's only got 120 armor. So I'm thinking we can probably take it out this turn. There's one hit. Two hits. I should be able to get around with pi Oh no, he's firing. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay, good. So, Cold Metal's gonna pull back this way, I think. Can we see the actual turret? We cannot. So, we're gonna pull up to support... Recoil, but we can't see anything. We can see him from here. Let's move in. Getting a little cocky here. Large laser SRM-6. Like no armor. Alright, firing away. Really low chances to hit. Ah, a couple SRM hits. And then Pylon will finish that turret up. So this guy's a medium. Is that an enforcer? That's an enforcer. Warning. Armor. Sure is. Standing by. Okay, let's finish this turret up. Get it out of the battle. And let's leave the small laser off. I don't think we need it for this one. Engaging. Okay, good. There's the turrets. 
So that's an enforcer. That's probably a catapult. Oh, that's the thermal catapult. <gasps> and we got catapult parts. There it is, 1R. Okay, so we need to take that enforcer down. So let's wheel this way. Good chances to hit. Thank you. We're going to fire on the enforcer, please. Firing. One. Two. He's fleeing the interview. I don't know where he's going. Okay, recoil. Let's get in on this guy. Order. Can we see this enforcer? We can if we get right up, like, in front of him. Let's close the gap between us and the catapult. On my way. Make us harder to hit. But let's do an offensive push on the enforcer. I want my centurion to go before him. And let's see if we can take off... Take off. Where's his ammo here? AC-10 ammo in this torso. Let's fire on that torso. I mean, I don't expect much out of this, but... Might as well take a crack at it. Okay. Pylon. Still want to fire on the Enforcer. Let's move to a point where that catapult can't see us. Going to fire on the Enforcer. Small laser can't hit it anyway, but I'm going to turn it back on so I don't forget. Okay. Oh, two out of... Okay, that was two hits. Redeemed himself there a little bit. He's not unsteady though, is he? Ah, oh, just about. Alright, we need to close. Need to close big time. I know it makes it easier for them to hit, but it also um, makes it a little harder because of the uh, close range. Damn, that was really bad damage. Alright, let's see what they do here. Damn it! It's a good shot with that AC, that's for sure. Thank goodness this guy's missing. Ace pilot though. So we're going to try and get ourselves around behind him this turn. I know he's kind of protected with, by this catapult back here. Or the uh, commando I mean. So we're going to move recoil. We'll sprint. Let's get up um, here probably. Took a CT hit. Let's get up in here. And once again I want to push this guy back a turn. Uh, let's go for... let's not mess around. Let's just go for CT. think it's better if we just remove the Enforcer from the map altogether. Here comes this Commando. Damn it, he hit. Okay, Hickory. Yep. I got a reason for doing this. I'm going to pull up here. I'm going to fire on the Enforcer. Both missiles. Nice. Okay. Alright, we need to make this guy unstable. So we're going to do this. Let's make this guy drop a load in his pants while we fire at this guy. Locking in all weapon oh, come on, man. Really? Really? 50% chance to hit and you hit with one. One. Mm, I'm better off... I think at this point I'm better off using Vigilance. That way I don't have to sacrifice my chance to hit. Um... What do you say we go point blank? 56%. Hmm. That's the left side that's damaged. Alright, let's move here. And we won't be able to fire everything. 
So the medium laser and the SRM4 come off, and then we'll fire the uh, Thunderbolt and AC5. Thunderbolt and AC5 hit. Nice. It's hoping for a knockdown there, but... The, inst the instability made it hard for him to hit people. And you're going to melee. Oh, you want to play the back game? We can play the back game better than anybody. Oh no! Really? Warning. Damage critical. Something I can do. Yeah, you can do something in a minute. We can't get behind you though. I can if I'm back here, but that's not going to help us, is it? Interesting dilemma here. Let's wait. Let's move um, recoil first. And we want to shoot. Oh, man. Going to go right here. Turn like this. We're going to shoot the enforcer in the front. Let's fire everything. Oh, God, really? Okay, well, gyro critical, that's good. Critical hit, Commander. Let's see what the commando's doing. Is he running again? Yeah, but it's a bad direction to run in, though, because he can get around my backside now. Let's move here. Not turn our back to him, but just enough so that we can blast this guy here. Okay, knock down. Okay. Let's do this. And let's finish this guy up. What's he got left in the center? 57, eh? Just gonna fire on this guy's center torso, Thunderbolt and AC. Can you finish this up for me, please? Really? Come on, guys. Is that where the ship lands? No. Okay. Fire straight in this guy's CT, please. Confirmed. That should do it. There we go. One left target. Let's find out what this guy's doing now. Still gonna melee. Well, at least his back's exposed now. And 36 is not all that much damage. Okay, recoil first. Can I get to his back from here? I can. I want to save that space for... Uh, for pylon here. Let's fire everything straight in this guy's back. Not bad. Here comes that commando again. can't believe the hits these guys are getting with their big weapons. I guess I shouldn't complain though, I'm doing pretty good overall. Alright, so we're moving back here. Firing straight on this guy, make him a little bit unstable. Nice. Pylon now. Let's sprint it in right directly in behind him. Understood. Moving fast. Shoot him in the back. Not with everything unfortunately. We can go that road though. Okay, there goes his right torso. Scored a critical hit. Now, because we didn't destroy his arm, do we get the uh, the launcher from there or no? Probably not. All right, let's put the rest of this into his back and call it a day. If we can. Let's fire these two. Yeah, he's stressed, all right. Yeah, I can't mess around with this guy. Ready for order. So let's go burrow through his side. Actually, let's shoot him in the back again. 
stay in the forest, reduce the damage from the other guy if he decides to shoot us. Oop, that was the... that's 87, yeah, okay. That should do it. There we go. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't choose mech pieces now, but it'd be nice if we get a catapult part out of that. We've got three parts sitting in our bay right now. Could certainly use a heavy mech. Okay, so... Dickory. Yep. Dickory Dock. Let's end this guy's life, please. Fire both. From the nice! The armor. You certainly did. He's completely unstable. Let's get our stability back. We're going to line up on him here. I don't think we can use anything other than what we have, so we're just going to fire these two. This guy is not having a good day. He was smart to run before. Alright, here comes that dropship. Alright, Pylon, you can take this one too. Just walk up on that base, please. Receiving you. There it is, folks. Another base capture mission. Excellent. Mission successful. All right, ten percent, ten percent increase in contract, hundred and twenty thousand, which we'll probably need for repairs. We did take a bit. Uh, we still need to repair the Thunderbolt. I missed that on the generator last time. Okay, so not very many mech parts, but we have to take parts from down here anyway. Ooh, Thunderbolt 15, definitely taking that. Uh, I'm going to drop the AC-10 in. Don't think we're going to be using it, but I'm going to drop it in anyway. Permanent cockpit, no. Arms, AC-10, double load, ammo. 75,000 is not really worth it. A couple of large lasers. How much are these worth? 140 grand each. Let's drop them in. Good enough. Okay, so we did get all the mech parts. Excellent. That means we have four catapult parts now. All we need is four more. We've got another, we got a full mech. Lots of heat sinks, which is excellent. Permanent cockpit we can sell. Okay, cool. Not bad. Alright. Three mechs were damaged. 29,000. Not too bad. So we made about pretty good. Pretty good. How long are we out for? Oh, we still got time before the financial report comes around. We'll be able to fix that generator up again. Uh, let's manage our tasks again. I'm finding this isn't really funneling things the way it should be. This should be an eight day repair in total. I'm thinking this says 12, but it's not really 12 because the Centurion will finish, or the Firefly will finish and then the generator will start. So let's just get this going until the next time. So I think, actually, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to move from this planet. Let's go to navigation. See if we can find a place with some better contracts. Uh, now, the, one of the reasons why I like going along this way, um, so we start at, where is it here? No, somewhere over here. I guess it doesn't show up on here. As it used to show up as a white dot. Anyways, we we start somewhere down here. Anyway, but if you come along this way, uh, where we are right now um, is rain. And if we click on the planets around us, you'll notice this is 12 days. This is 11 days. That's 18, 12 days, 12 days, and 10 days. 12 days. So there's a ton of planets that are like within very, very short travel times from each other. Uh, a lot of these planets will have manufacturing. So if you do come this way, uh, when you're first starting, if you want to just try and get mech parts and cash, this is kind of a good little stomping ground to move around in. I like it when there's like very, very minimal days between planets. Um, that means you can hit up, you know, if you don't like the contracts on one, you can bail and go to another right r really quick and still be in a place where there's some half decent stuff on the planet, like former Star League presence, Mega City, things like that, right? So I'm going to find a planet with manufacturing, um, which I'm thinking is probably going to end up being over here. Yep, we're going to go to Lanham and travel. So hopefully we get some good contracts when we're there. We're going to look for another, we need a backup pilot too. Uh, we don't currently have one. 
I'm gonna try and find one or two good pilots. Let's move that still to the kitchen, baby. <laughs> Morale increased by some med points. Uh, uh, you know, what we need is still in the kitchen. Actually, let's go to the mech bay now real quick. Um, let's have a look at the Jenner. We need to ref refit and fix that uh, Thunderbolt, because if we don't... Oh, actually, our Centurion, I think, took damage to his Thunderbolt last mission. So let's repair that. Two days, 1.8. Not right. bad. I'll get it in the skip. So now we got a still in our kitchen. So when we get there, we're going to check the store. I want to see if there's anything that's relatively cheap. Those medium laser double pluses were a good addition. The plus 10 damage, plus 2 heat lasers. Um, you, you know, as much as I like to say they've been helping out, they, we haven't really hit all that often with them. But, uh, all right, let's refit this guy. So we do, have an, we do have a backup Thunderbolt now after that last mission, which is great just in case we lose this. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, I'm planning on trying to uh, do a um, new Battletech uh, campaign, Flashpoint. Going to start a going to start a uh, custom career and get one of those going. I'll run it congruent with this one. Excellent. Four days till we arrive. So first thing we're going to do is look at the store. All right, let's see what we got in the store here to spend so if we find something good I'm gonna pass by the mech parts what's the SDA X5 what is this thing I've never seen this before X5 prototype increased accuracy damage and range but increased heat gen from firing and moving hmm interesting have to wait and fight it pirate medium lasers SRM 2 triple plus SRM 2 double plus interesting 40 tonner. ER Smalls. Ooh, Bloodhound Probe. Can't really use it right now. Fusion cores. Double heat sinks. Ah, targeting computer, which would be nice, but unfortunately, we cannot go that route right now. All right, so let's have a look at the hiring hall before we call the episode for today and see if we can find anybody how to have, have these in here. So, Crow, not really. Raider, Mercenary, Recruit. Bonus starting XP. That's actually a good price. Rocky. Eh. Don't want no nobles. Canopian. Nope. So let's grab Raider. 45,000. But, you know, 13.2 per month, which is a good price. Half decent starting stats, plus she gets to start in, in uh, minor XP. So let's hire her. Let's go to our barracks. We'll outfit her really quick. Let's have a look at our skills too, just to see if there's anything that's gone up. So nothing yet for cold metal, and yep. Hickory is still working away. Waiting for orders. Pylons okay. Yeah. Recoil. I am going to bring tactics up. Um, I want to start getting better sensors on this guy. And Raider. So let's get her a uniform first. Going to go this route. All right, so there's our uniform, and so we're going to put gunnery up, obviously, and we'll leave it at that. That's all we can do, really. Okay, cool. So now we have an extra pilot just in case someone's down for a bit. I'm not going to say in case someone gets killed because we don't want anyone to die. Obviously, we didn't have anybody to die in the last series, so I think we'll be fine this one. But, of course, now that I've said that, it probably won't happen. Um, okay, so I'm going to end the, end the episode here. If you like it, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe and comment. Uh, I always enjoy comments. And until next time, I'll see you later.